Welcome back everybody. This is Easy, Easy Street Gaming. Hope everyone's doing well today. Bringing you the Brutal Age Partner Guide 15. It's on the Lonely Warrior Ian. We're gonna get right into it because you know these are fast paced videos. Uh, he's got f he's got three different attacks. One of them is called Agonizing Talk. One of them is Spin of Fate. These are both uh, attacks with the daggers. Kind of like the real uh, uh, daggers that we have. Then he has Vindictive Grin. Vindictive Grin is they count how many times we hit him. And once we get a certain amount of hits on him, he attacks everyone in the party. And then the last ability he has is the Lonely Warrior ability. It's one that all the Lonely Warriors have. They're immune to stun and freeze and a lot of the buffs that... Uh, that, that we can get but they're immune to them now we get certain war patterns from Ian we get hippo we get rabbit we have the we get the Ian war pattern I wanted to, to show everyone Ian war pattern I pointed this out in, the, in another video I want to point it out again that every time we use Ian war pattern when we attack them we get 35% of the damage that we deal back to us so that's a healing war pattern. So just wanted to point that out. I, a lot of people don't use it, and it's a really big war pattern. Um, here's some of the here's some of the the top ten that we had in our server against Ian. These are all. Most of them are pretty well known. One that you, that you wouldn't expect would be the Smilodon. I've got him in this first attack. I think that he's going to be one of those really big. Uh, um, really big partners that we're going to use against against basically against all blue uh, heroes I've got on the replays I've got one against a, a level 1 in and then I got a couple of us level 2 there are some differences between the level 1 and 2 I, I mean the level 1's are simpler but there's a, a few different things we're going to focus on for the level 1 you still want to make sure that your leader has the attack the attack bonus some of them have the uh, plus 25, some of them have it to plus 40. Just be mindful if you're using something like the Double Blade Girl or like the new Smilodon. They have the plus 40, so it's a bigger attack, but it's only on uh, the green. So some of, some of the attack bonuses are specific to uh, what color you use. Also, you want to try to have at least one healer or, or someone with a shield uh, against the level 1s. You want to use heroes that are level 30 plus. So you can use the four stars against the level one in uh, and it's also best if you use only green and blue partners uh, Ian does a lot more damage versus red a good example would be like your red double blade girls and your your red blonde beauties Ian will probably kill them with the first volley that he does if they're at level 30 so by keeping the green and blue he doesn't do quite as much damage they do more damage against him now, once we get into level two, it's a lot less of a suggestion and more of a, of a necessity. You really got to keep the reds out of there if, if possible. Now, you see a red here. You see the red uh, guitarist, but she's level 40 and is stout. Now, now when we're dealing with the, the level two ins, we, we're going to have a lot of level 40 heroes. So, your level 40s, I mean, if you have 40,000 hit points, and you don't have to worry about them killing them in one shot. So, it's, it's a little different. But for the level two, is you want to have six star partners. It suggests level thirty five plus, and that is true. You can use level thirty five partners on on Ian. It's not quite like Thera, where if you don't have six stars, it's going to take fifteen attacks to kill them. But if you have five stars, you're going to probably use two or three attacks to kill them instead of maybe getting them in one. Now the difference in the level two to level one is you definitely want to use multiple healers when you're when you're up against the level two Ian. His attacks are a lot stronger, and some of his group attacks will wipe out two or three members at a time unless you keep him healed up. You're, you're, it's a, now for the level one, we suggest that you use the, the green attack leader that has a plus 40 attack. Once you get into the level twos, it's a lot more important. Uh, the double blade girl does the plus 40, and the Smilodon is another one that does the plus 40. Now, a very popular leader is the green the green demon killer he he's acceptable too I mean it's not quite as much I think he's 25 but um, but at least he has that's level 20 that's 25 uh, attack on on everyone it's not just green so that's okay and also if you want to sub substitute one of your healers for speed that's a, that's a, a good substitution if you have the green dragon man he does a ton of damage against bluey and especially once you get him up to level 40 
Now if you see here in this free play, uh, we have the green catfish fighter in. He's a very good attacker against the blue, uh, against the Ian. I think every time that he's attacking, he's doing around 10,000 damage, and then he's and then he's giving a shield to, to one person, whoever has the lowest hit points in the group. So you have him that gives a shield. You have the double, the green double blade girl that shields up. So now you have multiple shields that all going on at all times. So now you can instead of having multiple healers. You can substitute uh, a shield for the healer then you can shove substitute a speedster for the healer so there are ways around having to to bring one or two attackers and three healers although if you do use the uh, one or two big attackers and three healers your name's going to be up there on that leaderboard because you can have one one partner doing all the damage and the rest of them healing them up so some of the biggest mistakes uh, <laughs> ian's making some comments some of the biggest mistakes that I see people make is they're impatient inside the actual screen. So they'll, they, they won't build the team like you should. So be patient in the, in the screen. Um, don't allow under level 35 in your level 2 attacks. Try not to allow any red team members at all. And make sure you have at least one healer or one person with a shield in these level 2s. If you don't have someone with a, he a healer or shield, you're gonna really suffer and it'll, you'll, it'll be almost impossible to beat him in one attack so easiest tips against Ian be patient make the right team Th that means that if you're the one leading the attack if you're the one who summoned Ian talk to everyone in there if someone tries to bring a level one hero boot him out uh, if it's your own clan go and chastise him in the clan chat don't let them in there if they don't have the right healers I mean the right the right uh, partners use multiple healers and shields Try to use the green and blue and avoid the red partners and make sure you use either a speed or attack skill for your leader. All really big points. So Ian, he's not quite quite as hard as Th Thera. Probably number two on the list. I think I think Sai is probably the easiest. Ian's number two. And we are out of time. So hope you enjoyed the video. Sub to the channel, guys. I appreciate everyone for watching. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody. Yeah. 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 Yeah.